Sonia Lango Grant. And my name is Christopher Grant, and we are professional dancers and choreographers. And we are going to be discussing the dance sequence in Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction was made in 1994. Director was Quentin Tarantino. There's a lot at stake. And here they are, this gangster and a gangster's wife, on this very odd date. Yeah. So in this scene, we're actually at Jack Rabbit Slim's, which is a 1950s style restaurant. There's a dance contest, and they specifically do the twist. Now, the twist was made famous in the 60s. It was a dance craze. Chubby Checker made it famous. He was on the Dick Clark show, and from there, it became this big sensation. And then there were a lot of variations that came out of the twist that we do see in this scene. Of course, the twist. The Batman, also known as the Batusi. I guess it's like mimicking his mask. The monkey. Dance, if you're doing dance improv, we always talk about yes and, and they're doing a lot of yes and because this is totally improvised. Mm -hmm. So if John starts to do the Batman, then Uma's gonna like yes and it with not only a Batman, but like an open palm, <laughs> sort of like her own version of this sort of move. And that continues to happen throughout. And oftentimes with, with dance, we play with mirroring. So that's exactly what they're doing. They're just sort of mirroring each other. Like when she would put her hands on her hips and move toward him, there's a moment he's only doing the twist here, but then when they switch back, he puts his hand on his belly and starts to sort of like mimic this sort of like hand placement on the body with Uma. The tension is building yeah. and we see that even in the choreography, mm -hmm. this like pull and push. Facial expressions is also choreography. Their faces are like death staring each other down. There is no expression. It's very serious, but they're doing like incredibly silly movements. I find the juxtaposition of their seriousness and the lack of play on their faces versus the play in their bodies really interesting to watch. So there's definitely influences that we see in the Pulp Fiction dance sequence. Tarantino talked a lot about the Band of Outsiders. In fact, he even called his production company Band Apart. So he definitely had a lot of respect for uh, that film and Godard's work. They do this amazing dance sequence in a cafe. It's totally out of context, out of nowhere, the three of them just start this dance. And Quentin Tarantino loved that. He loved the odd placement of it. The context of this dance sequence in Pulp Fiction is really similar, like you have a bunch of criminals doing an oddly placed dance number. Quentin wanted Uma to do some of that sort of cat-like, feline, like feline prowling. prowling kind of movement with the fingers and, and the, the pose. I think there's one uh, shot in that Aristocats film where she does the little uh, hand on the hip and the arm up. So like mimicking that sort of like body shape in the choreography. In Fellini's Eight and a Half, structurally when in visually, you see more of Pulp Fiction in that shot. because they are literally, there's a moment of a man and a woman doing a twist, facing off, facing doing off. a twist. Yeah. You can see maybe a hair of similarities to the bandwagon's Girl Hunt Ballet, where Sid Charisse and Fred Astaire are dancing. Again, you have this sort of gangster and this female character being very deadpan in the face and very serious. Mm -hmm. That tone is in this sequence in Pulp Fiction, but then they're doing this the twist and it's more lighthearted and silly, but they're, they're performing it as if they're in this serious girl hunt ballet in Bandwagon. Quentin Tarantino, he said it himself, he steals from every film he watches. So he has a true passion for what he mm -hmm. does. And I think any great artist steals, but you steal and you make it your own and make it uh, special to you. And he does this very, very well. 
throughout the scene, we can see that Uma Thurman's character is definitely the one in control. As an actor, you're you're deciding how your character walks, talks, breathes. Of course, would translate into choreography. And I think the way she performs the twist is embodying that character. She has these painted red nails, and she's always doing these like little finger movements. And her bob, her the cut of her hair, she really makes use of that by like flipping her head a lot. And then she's like doing yeah. this. I don't even know yeah. what this move is. I call it like a pretend salsa move. She explores it in a different way that John Travolta's character mm -hmm. explores the same move. And he seems like a little timid to like really, really get into it until there's this really sweet moment where he starts to do the jerk and you start to see that he is enjoying this a little bit, but he's still very careful to bring it back to this sort of like safe yeah. space. He's just trying to yeah. figure her out uh -huh. and is trying to both please her and make sure she has like an okay night because that's his boss's wife. Right, the previous guy was thrown out of a window. The stakes are high. The stakes are high. John Travolta's character. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like they're dancing privately in their own sort of like living room space, even though they're in the dead center of this restaurant with people watching them mm -hmm. the entire time. I think it's just this like time out from the intensity, but they're developing a likeness for each mm -hmm. other. You're able to tell the story by adding in a dance sequence to communicate that. So I think this is a moment of, of pure body language. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a motion picture. I mean, that's what they call motion pictures. There you go. There's kind of a story being told when you think about all the shots, because it starts off, the camera's really far away, and you see them take off their shoes, and they make their way to center stage. And then there's a shot of them full, and you see the people around, and they're dancing. And then as, as it continues to go on, I think one of the last shots of their feet is the pan down of them mm -hmm. doing the twist. And then from, then from that point on, it's like waste up shots of them going back and forth, like her moving toward him, mm -hmm. him moving toward her, and them coming back to the center. Yeah. Cause by the time it, that, that, that fade to black comes up, they're like this close and they're, you know, in the zone of their newly formed relationship. Mm -hmm.